Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for January 3rd of 2024 is titled A SAR Arc from New Zealand. So what do we see here? Well, we see what looks like an aurora, especially down toward the bottom. And we see the greenish glow there associated with oxygen atoms when they are excited. However, we also see a lot more up above it this time. And this is what is called stable auroral red arcs or an Asar arc. Now, these are relatively rare and have only been studied really for the last 70 years or so. And they're uh, fainter up here. You can note how much fainter it is than the regular aurora down below. And what causes them is actually a good question and a topic of research. Now, we know that the aurora are caused by charged particles from our sun, and the SAR is likely uh, similar to that. For a regular aurora, the charged particles strike Earth's magnetic field and are deflected toward the north and south poles. And when they strike oxygen atoms in the atmosphere there, we get that distinct green glow. Now, sometimes we do see a reddish or purple glow as well associated with it. But generally, the aurora will see that very bright green glow associated with oxygen atoms. Now, the other thing that happens here is that a ring of material can be trapped around Earth's equator. So it's not just material that is deflected in toward the poles, but material can also collect near Earth's equator. Now, this is not down toward the equator. This is way up in the way up above the atmosphere and they can get additional energy during a large storm. So when there's excess solar activity, they can actually get more energy and that will excite the high, the oxygen that is higher up much higher up in the uh, atmosphere and up into the ionosphere and that will then glow red because of the different densities the higher density of oxygen atoms down closer uh, is gives us the green color when there is a lower density of oxygen atoms when we get very high up in the outer tenuous reaches of Earth's atmosphere we can get the red color that we see here now we've also seen what we call steves in the past and it's quite possible that these can transform from one to another and when we see a steve it tends to come out purple and green so various different things that go on in our atmosphere that we still strive to understand. However, what we do see is that we can still get beautiful images of them here, such as the one we see today. And we do know that they are associated with activity from our own sun. So it is our sun and its activity material being expelled out from the sun in things like solar flares and coronal mass ejections that initiates the process that eventually forms both the aurora, the SAR arcs, and even the steves. So that was our picture of the day for January 3rd of 2024. It was titled A SAR Arc from New Zealand. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.